the big box over the weekend, which means we were working the, the night shift. It starts as early as 2 o'clock and usually goes until 2 o'clock in the morning, but there's like a four hour span in there where I go home. It's, it's kind of like a split shift. And it's always a little uh, tiring when you go from night working nights and then come back to working days. I got off at 2 in the morning, went home, slept 8 hours, and then came to work at 10. So we've done a couple of movements. We did a, a container load going to the Inner Island Shipping Terminal, and then we picked up a load of... Uh, construction material and took it up to a new home in the Palolo Valley. So now we're back here at the shipping terminal of Sand Island. Just talked to dispatch and he gave me an LTL, which is a less than container load freight. This is our consolidated freight that comes in on the ships and uh, when it gets off the ship, it becomes our highest priority to get that container from the shipping terminal back to our terminal and put it right onto the dock and the warehouse starts offloading it or debanding it right away so that we can get it uh, organized and shipped out in delivery trucks to different parts of the island. So this LTL is over in Echo 12, stall 43. We're by what we call the tower, which is... Anytime there's an office inside the shipping terminal, we refer to it as the tower. <laughs> For those on high, look down along the Cabanas and the Opeons. It's always a good practice where whatever shipping terminal you go to, to have a, a number to container services at the tower so they can help you with any questions you might have. So Echo 1243 is right down near the waterfront. It's not right on the waterfront but it's close enough. Monday's the second busiest day on the docks. Thursday is the busiest but Monday's Close second. So this is Echo 12. up the container and moving it to wherever you got to go and dropping it off but another big part of the job is what I would call Some people 
are better at maintenance than others. I would not say that I'm real good at maintenance. At least not in the sense that uh, I hate to clean and polish. But that is a good part of maintenance. But I do like to make sure I leave things better than I found. Busy cleaning the windshield, I forgot to turn the lights on. I was thinking about this the other day in in reference to new drivers that the, the, the bad thing about the trucking industry is that there's everything's built around tenure. Nothing's really built around merit. So the longer you're with the company, the, the better it gets. And if you leave the company, well then you just start at the bottom again. What is the bottom? Well, it's the lower pay, it's the older equipment, it's the runs that nobody else wants to do. And you, know, you got, don't care where you go, you're gonna pay your dues. And so if you're going from company to company to company, see like this? That's that's the hole the, the door open. I don't like it hanging on the axle like that. But I'm gonna save it because I might need it. I just I just used the one that I had. So when these are broken and can't hold the door open, this is how they remedy that situation. And so it's always good to have a couple of those underneath your seat or in, in a door pocket somewhere so that when you come across a container that's got a broken uh, latch, see this? You don't need this hanging off the truck. This little simple maintenance. Leave it better than you found it. And so I collect all that garbage. I throw it underneath my chair. At the end of the day, I throw it out. I'll keep this, this piece of line here because that's what it's holding on to. I'm pretty sure I'll use it in a week or two. <laughs> now we're just going to do a quick uh, brake test on the trailer. Go forward a little bit. Just try to stop the roll just using the trailer brakes. Like that. Doesn't take much to check. Now we're good to go. I don't know how heavy this is, but I know it's heavy. We'll find out when we get it out here.
circuit breaker trip. She goes, I flipped it on and off three times now. Still doesn't work. I don't know what it can be then. More than likely the circuit breaker. Are you flipping the circuit breaker on the bottom on the right side? She goes, no, I'm flipping the one on the left side. What about the one on the right side? That one's off. I go, oh, there's your problem. Speaking of maintenance, there's something screwy with our uh, electric in the, in the garage because it trips the circuit breaker sometimes when we turn on the dining room light. I have no idea why that happens. My guess is there's a, the line is passing through there and somehow it's being Still 
see the drivers with good experience. They come in and they make that truck their own. They, they clean it up and clean it out and check all their tools and what have you and fix all the lights and uh, you know, just make it their home. Put in a new stereo maybe and work with the mechanics about getting the air conditioning fixed. I just changed the windshield wipers on this truck, so they're in pretty good shape now. And we worked on the, the little motor for the windshield wiper sprinkler. And the motor's in good shape, but the switch here inside the cab has got a fault in it. If I, if I tickle it, it works, but if I just turn it on, it doesn't. I gotta like shake it, and then it, it, it works. So he's got to order me that part. So again, little by little, the truck gets better and better. Anytime I hear a rattle, I try to figure out you know where that's coming from and lock it down. This is a 24-year-old truck, so it's got a lot of rattles. But yeah, that would be... drivers especially going don't care where you go is you know, think a little bit about maintenance because <laughs> this truck is one of the best running trucks in the fleet but it's 24 years old and has 767,000 miles on it which I think is more than any other truck and so you if you could, I, when I was a shop steward in the garbage truck industry I would always Important to the owners as to how old the fleet was, you know, find out the age of every truck and then divide it by the number of trucks and you have the average age of the fleet. And I would report back that uh, the age of the fleet is pretty old and we need to replace some trucks. And they would always, well, the oldest truck in the fleet is running really good, so we don't want to get rid of that truck. <laughs> and then uh, this newer truck is the one that's given us all the problems, but because it's newer, we don't want to get rid of that. So, yeah. hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay, coming into the yard here. Let's go open 
open the doors and try not to get crushed. container that's got the sandwiches in it at your local gas station supermarket. That's what those are. Heading down to the plastic distributor. Well yeah people get killed in this industry time for just from opening the back doors and trailers because it could be a lot heavier than just a, a box of plastic containers
left for two, so we probably got time to do one more, maybe. We'll go inside and check with dispatch, see what they got. I got some paperwork I need to turn in. Could be a piece of steel, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Nothing to worry about. Piece of plastic. Looks like it could have been a piece of steel, though. Check with dispatch, see what they got. That's it, it's six o'clock. We're gonna shut it down. Mine's a little fuzzy after uh, working the night shift, but thank goodness for muscle memory. <laughs> pretty good day we came in at 10 o'clock we did seven movements we drove 71 miles truck ran well that sounds like our General manager's car. No, I don't see it though. He's got a real nice Camaro. Sounds a little bit like that. Seven hundred and sixty-eight thousand miles and counting. I just don't know where it's coming from. 226. So hopefully tomorrow I feel a little bit better. <laughs> A little more clear-headed. Uh, be nice if the weather could improve. This is typical winter weather, though. We get the rain and the sun, the rain and the sun. But we're headed home. We're gonna make something for dinner. We got a uh, tofu, more than likely. Um, if my wife went to the store and got potatoes. We'll make a baked tofu. If not, we're going to have a stir fry and uh, mix it with the, like broccoli and um, carrots, onions, mushrooms. Well, that, that wasn't the truck I thought it was at all. Pickup truck. That's a That was me in my 20s, waking up the neighborhood at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sounds great, but uh, not at 5 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, we'll make a stir fry with the tofu. 
Got some rice, salad, that's what's for dinner. Here comes uh, the return from the big box. So I dropped that off at the big box last night. He's bringing it back here. It's more than likely empty or full of damage. That's it for this this day. Thanks for watching. Aloha.